There is a new development in the conviction of a former Marshall University student for two counts of sex, second degree sexual assault back in August of 2020. Chase Harden's defense team had appealed his conviction on the basis of introduction of religion or religious convictions to bolster someone's testimony. They deemed the introduction of evidence and closing arguments by the prosecution inadmissible and as a result, prosecutor prosecutorial misconduct. However, on Tuesday, the West Virginia Supreme Court of Appeals upheld Hardin's conviction. There's a cumulative effect of that prosecutorial misconduct, of the religious conviction, of the um, inadmissible statements. Um, when you put those together, we believe that it should have been uh, uh, what we call reversible error and allowed him to have been tried again on on those counts. The victims are very pleased uh, with yet a, uh, another victory uh, for them. And uh, but again, there are other other grounds uh, or other ways that the def defendant can get his conviction overturned. And uh, and they know that. Harden remains sentenced to 20 to 50 years in prison, followed by 30 years of supervision.